and welcome to Michigan Pool News. I'm Bill Babka. Nick Shelton. Today we'd like to talk to you about, wow, in just three or four days, how drastically things can change in our state. Late last Thursday, Wayne Oakland Macomb and the city of Detroit issued orders uh, that were not exactly what our governor was following. And then our governor back on Friday, or late Monday, opened up our swimming pools this Monday, June the 8th. So Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb County have now rescinded their executive orders and are allowing people to go along with our governor's order to open their swimming pools on Monday, June the 8th. There is a caveat to this. The order says 50% of your bather load. And to give you an understanding, your bather load is not how many people are in your swimming pool. The bather load is given to you by the health department, and that's the number of people within the enclosure, which can include employees. So if you had a bather load of 500 people, and you monitor that 50%, you can have 250 people in your swimming pool. However, in the governor's order, she also said that you can't have gatherings more than 100. And we found out just a few hours ago, Oakland County's Health Department wants to abide by that 100 person in the enclosure number, not 50% of your bather load. We have also had a conversation with the Macomb County Health Department and their feeling today is if you feel that you can maintain social distancing within your enclosure and have more than 100 people that number can then be negotiated as to what you feel comfortable with. The health departments are also saying that you're going to be able to open up your swimming pools on Monday without an inspection, provided that you have filled out your preseason checklist, sent it into the county, and you have not had, you were not closed for any reason last season and they will get to you at some point during the summer for your final inspection. And Nick also has some information for you as well. I think one of the big things that everybody needs to realize, and this is out of uh, the governor's executive order number 97, which is referred to in our current order of 110, is that we all need a COVID-19 response plan to return to work. That includes swimming pools. There's a bunch of good guidelines out there right now. The CDC has one, which we'll post a link to. USA Swimming has an excellent return to work swimming pool action plan uh, with diagrams and everything for how to set up your facility and your deck. We'll post a link to that. But anybody that plans on having people in those swimming pools, a big thing that's gonna be required is this COVID-19 um, checklist. Washtenaw County actually has a checklist out there. We'll post a link to that as well. Uh, COVID-19 is still here and they want us aware of it and they want us taking precautions. Uh, I think the last thing to realize is that we still understand that pools aren't going to open. Some pools are just going to decide not to open. We get it. But just because those local orders were rescinded, it is, does not mean that we can still let those pools sit. The code that they were referencing in those local uh, orders initially telling us we had to recirculate water keep the pools be from becoming a nuisance and going septic. That was actually a reference to existing statute, right? Existing code. That's not going away. So you folks that aren't going to open your pools, we get it. Please understand, you still got you still got to make sure that that pool is safe and not going to create a hazard in your community or for the people that are around it. So um, get those things moving water, get some baseline chemicals in them. And uh, yeah, it's an interesting time in Michigan for commercial swimming pools, isn't it, Bill? To say the least. So thanks, everybody. Uh, we'll keep you up to date as we get the information, but this is the most up-to-date information as of an hour ago. So we appreciate your view on Michigan Pool News, and we'll see you later. Stay safe, Michigan.